It's the worst day of the pandemic Australia has ever seen. New South Wales yesterday recorded 825 locally acquired COVID-19 cases, just 24 hours after authorities announced higher restrictions for several parts of the state. Delta doesn't leave any room for error. Previously, the record amount of cases stood at 725. That was recorded in Victoria last year. But that number was revised down to 687. Yesterday, that number was beaten by more than 100. We had 120,000 people that came forward to get vaccinated and we can't stress enough how important it is for that to continue. A curfew is among several tighter restrictions imposed by several local government areas in Sydney, something the Premier reportedly pushed back on this year. Everything we did is worth trying in Sydney right now, like Sorry a curfew not. for instance. They haven't demonstrated they work. Policy positions that may have worked in the past aren't going to have effect with Delta. Gladys Berejiklian is showing no willingness to follow Victoria's curfew strategy. We will be implementing curfews in those local government areas of concern from Monday. Protesters yesterday were far smaller than what was seen last month, but despite the modest turnout, a number of arrests remain. The lockdown for all of Sydney has been extended until at least the end of next month, and heavy restrictions are also expected to continue across regional areas. Lincoln Homes, 6 News.